Well, hey, there is a whole lot happening in the world of sports with the Olympics going on. But come Sunday, all eyes will be on SoFi Stadium in La La Land as the LA Rams host the upstart Cincinnati Bengals to determine who takes home Super Bowl 56. To get you set with a breakdown of things that you might not be watching for is our faithful pigskin prognosticator, retired Thai cat, Pete Dykowski. Hey, buddy. Good morning. How are you, pal? I should, I should actually mention, too, that you are a former LSU, Ta LSU they're Tigers, right? LSU Tigers? Go Tigers. Come Go. on, everyone knows the LSU Tigers, the greatest team in college football. Okay, we're going to get to that. Oh, okay, you want to start with this? Let's start with this. Okay, so there is there's a young dapper, Pete Diakowski, on the right. You are how old there, Pete? Oh, that's probably about 22 years old. 22 years old. And who is the, who is the man on the left there? Well, that, this is the story of the game. That's Andrew Whitworth, probably the greatest left tackle in the history of the NFL game, former LSU Tiger. We were school chums together. Uh, he's the reason I ended up playing right tackle because I started out my first couple of years backing up at left, and I wasn't about to uh, knock him out of his starting spot. He was about 6'7", 330 pounds, and still is. And he's still playing. How old is, how old is young Whitworth? He is 40 years old. He's got a whole bunch of age-related NFL records. I think he's the oldest at 40 to ever start a game as a left tackle. He's got 200 and some odd games under his belt. I think about uh, 200 and just under 240. I think this Super Bowl may be actually 240 for him. The what, guys, what would, be, what would the it best... be like playing on the O-line as a 40-year-old man against these young 20-year-olds? Well, the experience, I'm sure, is an asset. I think it'd be particularly painful but what I've heard <laughs> is that he doesn't take any pain medication. This, he has this, this incredible, uh, perfect physique for the game. And he's still going. You, you watch him, you'll see it looks like he can play another three, four, five years easy. This could, I, this could be his last game, though, right? Well, he might decide to go out on top. I think right. he's played plenty of football. But okay. there's a lot of LSU content in the game. So for today, just so the viewers can see, I've got my, you know, there you go. LSU. Kit okay, on. So there's what well, there's the quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals. That's 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 a big one, right? So get into Joe Bur Joe Burrow. Joe, well, this is the story of the game, really, because you've got Joe Burrow versus like, Burrow versus Stafford. That's one of the big arcs of the of, of the game here. So let's talk about Joe Burrow. All right, the greatest college quarterback of all time. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. You can look up all the records. Led LSU to the 2019 national championship game. The greatest team in college football. Then he gets drafted by the Bengals, tears his ACL in his first season. That's a career-ending injury for a lot of guys or a career-changing injury. He's come in this season. He's led them to the top of their uh, conference, and he's poised to win a Super Bowl. Now, we're going to see the difference between excellence and greatness in this game because Stafford, and we'll talk about him in a second. Well, let's get to him now because we are running out of time. So get to Matthew Stafford because okay. he's the, he's the old, he's the well, old veteran here. excellent. He is the fastest NFL quarterback to ever reach 10,000 yards, 20,000 yards, 30,000 yards, 40,000 yards, always playing for the Detroit Lions, a perennial trash team. He goes to the Rams, and now he has his chance to win a Super Bowl. But here's the difference. Burrow went to a team that was in the basement, and he's made them great. Okay. So here we go. These These... Our, our chats always go by so quick. We got to go right to your prediction. Who do you who do you got? Okay, provided that the Bengals can control the pass rush of Aaron Donald, and their line is being a little bit shaky. But even if they can't, Burrow's just too good. I pick the Bengals. Get out. Okay, bring up the board. Bring up the. <laughs> oh, we got the Bengals. There I am. <laughs> we came to the studio to shoot these pictures. Okay, and here's the score for everyone who's going to be betting: 24-21. 45 point total. I think you're taking the under if you're uh, if you're betting that. And I know we're running out of time. A few quick notes on snacks. Okay, Joe Burrow is from Athens, Ohio, or he played for Athens High School. I'm going with Greek food. I'm Greek. going from the Acropolis Greek Taverna, 85 John Street South, my new favorite Greek restaurant in town. Are you getting you this for free because you gave them a shout out? Is that the whole reason? Is that what you had to do? Give them a shout out and there's a whole Greek, Greek spread that arrives at the Diakowskis? <laughs> but I have another, I have, if you're 
Point for Stafford, Detroit. You can't take the Detroit out of him. He's a lifetime Detroiter, even if he wins a Super Bowl with the Rams. Detroit pizza, Mai Tai pizza. Oh, okay, Detroit-style pizza. pizza. I don't know if it's a gimmick to sell pizza, but it's delicious. Okay, I, I think Mai Pai has Mai a good Detroit-style pizza. <laughs> Pete, good to see you, man.